watch the Beanie Fest. Honestly, this is kind of funny to watch. As we see as the spot beats up on poor Timmy. Now, as Jimmy appears <laughs> and oh, he goes Timmy. Now, hopefully, Jimmy will return and avenge his brother. Now, let's see how he does. If at all. And, oh dear god, we can't see any. Oh, there he is. And suddenly, m nothing but explosives and a car. Poor Jimmy is dead. And now the spawn tries to remove the trash from his funnel bowl. And we hear sounds as off in the distance is something to explode. Oh, and, and here comes Chucky Chan, I believe. No, that was Mick Finley, as he attempted to drive. Now, l let's go and see what else is up. Deep in the tunnels, here we go, flying around at the speed of sound. And yes, all this is sped sp up for your amusement. Now, it is at this point when we have, I do believe, Jackie Chan with his sniper rifle of excellence. Let's get a look at Jackie Chan. Running around Look at his legs! That is quite amusing. As those dank legs run around with that puny <laughs> sniper rifle, he attempts to shoot McFinley in the face with all the brutality in the world as oh. he shoots the driver. Very barbaric. Even oh. more barbaric is a headshot from nowhere by Jackie Chan. Oh, the carnage. <laughs> oh, the unhateful carnage. <laughs> now, as the Spartan gets into a chopper, we see as he's now flying. Oh, dear God. What will Jackie Chan do? Wait, no. That's not Jackie Chan. That is instead Bruce Barbarica. The melee fighter of the dooms. <laughs> now, as he attempts to fight the flying bird with all his might, oh dear god, he made it go flying. Now, as the plane is injured, he attempts to go for an insta splash and misses. And misses again. As Grognak the Barbarian <laughs> popped out of Fallout and into this game of Halo. I thought he was Barbaricus. Same difference. <laughs> now. There goes Barbaricus. As he was splattered like a noob, and then his brother Grognak was then splattered as well. The poor bastard. <laughs> now, as we see the bird hovering wide over the elephant, over the sand dunes, he then kills... Oh wait, let us record that to see the point of view of the shooter. How rude, sir. Okay, here we go as we see Grognak just perfectly blown up. And now it is James McCullough as he picks up the rocket launcher of mass destruction and the grenade launcher, and he, he's dead. Both just, of them have died, Jackson. Just absolutely dead. Now, look at those dank, majestic legs as he hops around with that portable minigun. Just <laughs> running around, oh so dank. <laughs> and he got run over, killed, he's a scrub. Should we tell them how there are so many inhabitants alive in this arena? There is a cloning factory off in the distance. Don't mind that. We have a guy named Carl. He, he writes the names. Don't blame us. It's him. Now look as we find the Spartan, now known as Rocket uh, Chopper Man, as he tries to find his prey, the elite named... These Nuts. Yes, he, these Nuts has slain Chopper. And now we have the Elephant Man. Yes, and that is his actual name, the Elephant Man. And as there is nothing entertaining here, we shall go on to the Elite. Never mind, there is Laser Man <laughs> as he attempts to fight and is brutally murdered by the Elephant Man. Now, now we go back to his brother. Now all hope is lost. Who shall save us? It the is one and only Pancake, pancake man. man. As he drops his pancake, he lost his shit, and there he goes. He saves the world. What? Plot twist. Now shall we see what the point of view of Pancake Man was when he did all that? I believe they should see how, how he heroically saved them. Quite the heroic adventure, if I do say so myself. That was a poor viewing. Let us retry. Yes. Let us go back to Fart where he throws the pancake. That was a fill of the pancake. And all the bullets are the syrup. Now let us look around this. Look at that carnage. 
absolutely devastating. Any young child should not view this at all. And here he has stolen his hammer. The and elephant man has fallen. Dear God, help us all. Oh, it appears he is wanting to become the new elephant man. We're oh. all screwed now. But Maybe not. No, we were saved by the new elephant man. Why did he throw down a shield? I, we, we may never know. Now, if I do recall, we may have a new visitor. Another clone, another death by the ball. It's just this man, yonder pervert. I think, no, I think this was yonder man this time. But yonder Oh my man. goodness, it is, a, it is absolute carnage and he is brutally beating up the dead body. Oh no, even in death, Yandre Man is the absolute power, being as spread as he can for Elephant Man, because he knows elephants are so big. <laughs> and as Elephant Man attempts to move his huge lawn across the desert, he is being drastically murdered. Shall we continue to warn these guys to do another match? It, we're getting close to being done with this session of as our, of our viewing of the desert land. Oh, look at the brutality. As the Spartan attempts to trick the new elephant man into fleeing, he then comes back out of nowhere and then attempts to reclaim his elephant. As the new elephant man picks up the chain gun. Now, let's hear his interview. Uh, I'm just sitting here. I'm, ju I'm just paid to sit here. Nobody wants this hunk of junk anyways, so uh, I'm sitting here m missing my mom. And what the hell that? What? No! Get out of here! Die! Die! Don't give me a job! Now let us see what happened on the other. On the other. Let's see what the Spartan was doing. Look at those majestic wheels as it flies through the sand. And, oh dear lord, he's stuck and dead. No, not how to do it. Not at all. Oh, my bad. Game over. And that is our viewing of the Sand Trap Land. I hope you enjoyed.